what we are trying to do is that we basically build these wearable sensors. Um, they look like this, that patients will attach themselves and go about their normal day-to-day -day activity and will track sort of their symptoms. A huge thing in asthma is that patients often tend to be hospitalized a lot because they don't monitor their symptoms. It's hard to monitor symptoms because all the conventional tools for monitoring symptoms rely on like manually logging down symptom events like today, how many times did you cough, how many times were you wheezing? and how bad was it and people don't have time to do that and so the idea behind this project was to come up with this unobtrusive very simple wearable sensor that you just attach to your chest go about your normal day-to-day -day activities forget about tracking your symptoms and it tracks all of that for you logs all of that data talks to your smartphone and informs you as to how well you are doing. The first huge block is sort of designing the sensor. How do you make these sensors very small, very tiny, very cheap, such that people would actually want to use it, right? Because if it's a wearable sensor, it's gonna be on for a long time. And so you have to think of the, the sensor design in itself. And then there's also the um, electronics aspect. How do you make sure that you're using very minimal power so that the person doesn't need to charge this every other hour, but he can put it on the whole day and use it. Then another problem is noise component. How do you deal with the noise? If someone is gonna have this on and moving about every day, activity by just touching all the environmental and noise coming from the person, you want to be able to isolate all of these in your sensor. So there are all these variety of problems that even though it's one big project, you get to sort of work on various things and then all of them have to work well for everything to come together and have a complete system. So that was what really got me interested in this and why I stuck along with this project because I get to work on at varying levels on different problems in one complete project.